Welcome and thank you for watching. The other day I received this RFX 45 in the mail and I'm super excited to do a review on it. In addition, I got one of these uh, 35 degree pinch mounts uh, for the RMR platform. Um, it comes with a 35 degree offset and several uh, different points of mounting so that you can mount it closer or further from your main optic. I'm gonna be setting this up on my uh, truck gun so that way I have a backup or close quarter optic I can use in addition to the scope in case there's any situation that uh, would dictate that. So without further ado, here is the Viridian RFX 45 unboxing. So we opened it up here and I had opened it previously but there was so much stuff in here I, I was in awe. So I put it back in here just so we could go through it um, on the screen. So of course you got your Viridian branded um, lens cloth here. And then as you can see you have about every type of bolt, nut, and screw you can imagine here. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, it looks like eight different pairs of screws depending on what you're mounting and how you want to mount it. In addition, you have your Glock Moss uh, plate here or the Arco plate. Um, this looks like it'll actually work with a pinch mount. Huh. Let's take a look here. Nope, looks like the screws to align it to the pinch mount here are vertical and these mount screws are horizontal. Then coming further, we have what looks like a Picatinny rail adapter here. And that is awesome. You have your battery, of course. Um, we have more mounting plates in here. This is your RMR plate. Oh, looks like we're at the end of the plate. So what else do we have here? Okay, so you have your installation tool. It looks like you have uh, the different um, wrenches you need for the screws and then this is probably to help take the battery cover off. We will dive into that later. And then before we get into the optic here, here is it looks like about a one inch riser. So it looks like you have the option to use this riser or not use this riser. Uh, when I do the installation video we will go into that further. And now finally at the very bottom of the box here we have this really awesome little green dot. I'm shocked how small this thing is. Um, for an enclosed green dot optic, this is really quite incredible. I'm used to them being quite a bit larger and of course being your primary optic. But as a secondary or backup optic, this size is perfect. Um, one thing I really like is if you can think about it, this will be mounted 35 degrees and slightly offset to my scope so this enclosed optic is nice for me because it can get beat around a little bit i'm always nervous about the open optics you know typically that you find on pistols i know they're pretty resilient i know they're pretty redundant um, i know they're difficult to break but still it makes me nervous this does not make me nervous <laughs> at all um, as you can see, uh, maybe you can't, yeah, you have a little bit of a lens coating there at a reflective coating. And yeah, this thing looks pretty awesome. So let me turn it on here a moment. Uh, looks like we need to put batteries in it. So that will be my next step. Just as a quick note here, that wrench is for the battery cover indeed. So you just slip it in there and then you can spin that right off just like this. So... I'm not going to waste any more time on screen. Um, I'm just going to install the battery. Now, as you can see, we have the battery installed, and you can see the green dot right there. Now, in case you're wondering, it is a standard CR2032 uh, watch battery. Um, I have a few of those because most of uh, my optics take them. So it's a very common battery. Um, and as you can see, that is a very, very well-rounded green dot right there. Now, I've ran through the settings quite a bit. Um, dim is actually really, really dim, so if you're running night vision, there you can barely see it now. Um, I can see it with a naked eye. Actually, I say that, I can't see it. But if you're running um, night vision, I'd be curious to see how well that performs. And then we're going to run it up to the brightest setting here. There. 
and that's the brightest setting so one two three four five six seven clicks so it looks like there's probably two on the bottom that are barely visible but that gives you a good idea of the range that you're gonna see with this uh, optic so I was correct looking at the side of the box here um, it is two visible and two night vision settings so if you are running night vision this optic is compatible and it comes with a ton of other features as well I just want to go through that here some of my favorite is the instant on <laughs> I love the instant on um, and it comes with the 10 brightness settings the 8 visible 2 for night vision battery life is over 50,000 hours now these optics are getting better and better they're lasting longer and longer and with an instant on option uh, when your rifle is idle it of course isn't on so that doesn't take your battery life of course the CRO 2032 objective lens is 24 by 15.5 millimeter all tools are included made of aluminum and it's been hard coat anodized um, operating temperature is negative 4 to 130 degrees fahrenheit ipx6 waterproof um, weighs under two ounces 1.73 that's incredible limited lifetime warranty and a uh, five moa dot in green now after two minutes the optical shut off unless it gets jostled and then the auto instant on kicks on and it turns right back on now i'm excited to play around with this five moa dot especially on a 223 rifle um the last optic um i believe was a three ohm three moa that i was messing around with and i found the three a little bit large um but i was doing some pretty close quarters of work with it so the five moa i'm curious to see what i think of that considering it'll be mounted further away from my face and uh further down the barrel i think it'll be just the right size and i'll be very happy with it but i'll let you know in the next video thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day